Hello dear brothers and welcome back to New Bible Study. I was away from my work for a little while but now I'm back and we're trying to pick up the Bible studies again. I hope you will enjoy it and it will be a blessing for you and for your godly life. Let's start. 1 John 4 verse 5 they are from the world, and therefore speak from the viewpoint of the world, and the world listens to them. In contrast to John's three comforting reminders in verse 4, that is, that we are from God, that we have overcome the false teachers, and that the one who is in us is greater than the one who is in the world. Here, he offers three distinguishing points to help us test the spirits or false teachers and their teachings. First, these deceptive teachers are from the world, not from God. As we read in 1 John 2 verse 15 to 17, those who are from the world do not have the love of God in them. Second, because they are from the world, these deceivers have an ungodly outlook. A worldly person will speak from a worldly perspective. This is to be expected. Those who do so, however, are not abiding in God, nor are they speaking the truth. And third, these worldly people are accepted by the rest of the world. They speak from the same ungodly point of view. Therefore, the world listens to them. It is only natural that unbelievers will listen to and accept the teaching of unbelievers. Brothers, as we run the course God has set us out for in our lives, we will run into many people that would profess to teach, lead and influence. John is warning us against being fooled or duped because we fail to properly test the spirit against the truth. We must be very discerning with what we hear, with what we see and not easily swayed by popularity, the overwhelming approval of others we trust, or nor words that tickle our ears or sway our emotions. And be honest to yourself. How sensitive are we for this approval of others? And instead, we should be very cautious and observant to discern the motivations, underlying beliefs and how that teacher treats others and behaves when he or she are not in the spotlight. If God's love is not evident, if their perspective or outlook and behavior and words are not rooted in God's word, then we should guard against their influencing us and warn our brothers and sisters in the faith so that they too will not be misled by false teachers. May we guard against being caught up in the hype concerning the newest ideas and popular speakers, self-proclaimed teachers, to exercise the discernment that the one that is in us develops as we read, study, and meditate on God's Word. May God bless you all.